Hello and welcome to a new Vikings episode. My name is Larissa and today I'm going to react to the 15th episode from season 6. So that means we're already halfway this half of the season. If we have finished this episode, I mean. Uh, so then we're already halfway. It's going quite fast. For the rest, I wanted to say that I also have a Patreon. And if you already want to see more episodes, you can check that out. And I also upload uncut reactions on that. Uh, so then you can see me react to the full episode instead of just 10 minutes YouTube allows. So if you're interested in that, the link is in the description. You can check that out. And then I'm going to react to this episode. So let's go. Are they serious? Did he kill Floki? Of course he killed Floki. Floki would have been king of Iceland. Everyone knew that and Shadow had to deal with them. What's the deal? Just be prepared. I mean, they could just take all of them together and fight against them. I mean, they're with less then. They wouldn't stand a chance. And they're assholes, so they kind of deserve it, so. Well, I'm not sure about his entire family though, but Shettle does. <laughs> Scarred has already healed nicely. You don't know anything about me. I know this. You sold me once. You don't remember. Hmm. Of course you don't. How could I forget? Okay, there's quite a lot of them. It was sent to me. What else can it mean? There's enough. You lie. The gods have chosen me! I am king here! I will decide who stops! Don't you murder! <laughs> yeah, that just had to happen. She's literally fighting with a child in her arms. Talking about strong women. He's mad. What are you doing? Get on the boat! So they're leaving now? They're leaving them there? Well, I think that's for the best. And they're finally rid of them. Look at me! I'm the king of Greenland! The only thing you have is your whales. Rejoice! Okay. Good luck with Greenland on your own. And your whale. And your dead family. <laughs> Try. Has to be. I mean, they prepared the attack as well, so. I'm telling you, it's a trap. salutes you and offers you and Prince Igor our profound love and loyalty from this day forward by the grace of God by the grace of God amen what is going on did they really not trust Oleg anymore I can't imagine that it's going this easy they came to a place called Kolkova which means the place of the skull Come down from the cross, you are the son of God. In the same way, the chief priests and the elders mocked him. Let him come down from the cross, and we will believe him. He really turned even more mad than he already was. My brothers, let us all live in peace together. Let us talk and forever put our differences aside. Igor, I love you like a son. Sure. Let us live in peace and love. Please. Take this bow and arrow and kill your uncle. God, command. Don't be a cripple anymore. I don't know. Perhaps in some way 
He does feel free. No, he doesn't. Freedom killing. You will never be free. No, no, wait. He has to do it. Yeah. Let me do it. No, Igor! Not you! No! I'm sorry. Nice shot though. I honestly thought we were gonna go to war, but I think the people already saw that he was mad. I already said that in the, in the previous episode. They were cheering for him, but in the meantime, you just saw that they didn't fully trust it or something. And now he fell from the balcony. Oh, damn. <laughs> this is so cool. But you know, of course, the people also all knew that Igor is the rightful king. So I think the main, the mo most of the people support him. And that they just supported Oleg because Iker was with him and then Iker was gone. You know what I'm hoping? That Gunnild and Ingrid have a plan and that eventually they kill him. Now I have to go. Where are you going? To my love. No. Don't do <laughs> anything stupid. I go now to join Björn in Valhalla. And now she's just gonna keep swinging, swimming till she dies, or <laughs> how should I see this? <sighs> this is so fucking powerful though. I always thought it was kind of impossible to going? drown yourself, but At the moment, the wind and the tide maybe with the cold of the water and you have no idea where we are. the thought of Bjorn, I don't know. Stuff. Damn, Gunnild, what the fuck? But we are in the water. <sighs> you told us you were a Saxon monk. No, I told you the real hotel was a Saxon monk. I took his identity and I took his faith. Yeah, I remember something like you this. You lied and lied and lied, my friend out there. Catch it! Catch So 
what are your plans now? Depends. On what? On you. You know that. But I'm here now. I got my family. I'm sorry. What? Don't worry. I have other ambitions. Aww. Don't worry about me. Mm. I can't believe Ivor actually became a good guy. Because I'm carrying your child. Um. Young nephew eager to do it up to the land. <laughs> He's literally so cute. I also follow him on Instagram. He's really funny. You can't do this. If you're carrying his child. But is she for real? I mean, with Freydis, he also thought she was carrying his child, but that was also not real. But if that's really true, that's fucked up. First she breaks his heart, and then she's like, oh, I'm also carrying your child, but we'll probably never see him or her. Are you coming with me? Where to? Get the get? Oh, please overthrow Harold. We don't know what happened there since we aren't there. Yeah, we'll find out. <sighs> You know we're afraid to stay together. As soon as either you will kill me or I you. <laughs> I will make sure he knows that his father is Ivor the Bombless. A king and a great man. You loved your wife, Radis. And in your mind you confused me with her. But I am not her. And I will only disappoint you when you realize it. Okay. That is why you have to go. Wow. Oh, oh no. I really didn't even think of that. This is so sad. I was so focused on Katja that I totally forgot about oh, Igor. Well, maybe in the future they'll return there someday and then at least they have some allies. <laughs> Doesn't he even say goodbye? He's, it's like he's a better man And I think Igor did a lot for him in that I really do <sighs> Oh my god I thought I cried enough in the first episode <laughs> Damn guys, that was emotional <laughs> Seriously, the last I think like 10 minutes I loved every second of it it was so interesting and it was so emotional honestly i'm glad that uh, ivor is leaving i mean ivor is ambitious of course and he had a purpose and his purpose is fulfilled and i think this is literally the first time he had this like he really had a purpose and he really wanted something to work he really wanted to help oleg he really wanted to help a person actually and the things he wanted to achieve, they happened. At first, when this all started, I really thought he just 
wanted to help them so he could have power for himself. Uh, also through Igor, even though he had no bad intentions with him. I mean, of course, when you're the best friend of the king of basically everything. Um, well, around there then. Then you have some power, of course. So, yeah, I really... At the beginning, I thought that was what he's getting at. Like I said, I also really think Ivor changed in like a really good way. I, I remember, I believe that's the season I reacted to first when I started reacting. And that was like the first season we really realized Ivor is mad. I knew, I, I mean, we knew it from the beginning, from the moment he was a little boy and he already killed another boy or something like that. And then we just knew something is off with him. Something is not right. And... There were seasons when I thought, that guy is a literal psychopath, he kind of was, but he's such a different person and I'm honestly so proud of him. I can't describe how proud I am of him. I mean, Ivar has always been one of my favorite characters, for real. I really love him. He hasn't always been the nicest character, but his character was so interesting and I don't know, I just constantly wanted to explore more of his character and, and to go to such a character growth I can really appreciate that I, yeah, I really do, I have so much respect for him Honestly, if I'm going to think back about this episode right now So much happened We're also slowly losing everyone <laughs> First of all, uh, let's finish this up about Ivor um, Him and Viturk are going back to, back to Cat, Cat now And I was really already wondering what is going to happen in Kattegat now? Is Harold really just going to be king in the end? And then that's it. And um, Gunhild is dead now. That's just it then. I mean, someone else has to take Kattegat. And honestly, my hopes were on Ube. Because I thought, okay, he's not going to find land. Maybe he'll find something else now. But maybe after all, he will return to Kattegat. Maybe that's just because I wanted it. Not because it was realistic. Um, but I knew Harold wouldn't just be king of Kattegat without any trouble. I knew someone else had to come. And now Vitzerk and Ivor are coming back. And even though Vitzerk killed Lagerta, even though uh, Ivor has been in a war with Bjorn for so long, they have never been like close brothers or anything. They have mostly been enemies. But I mean, they are Ragnar's sons. And I think they should take get to get. I mean, that's really something I want to see right now. And I'm so excited for this, for them to return. I really am. Um, then I want to talk about... Um, well, let's talk about Oleg first. I'm glad he's dead. Um, I, I wasn't completely sure what was happening when they arrived there. And everything was just fine immediately. Um, I really thought we were going to get a battle, like I already said. But... Yeah, I think the people already kind of knew that Oleg was getting mad and that Igor is the real prince and I mean Igor doesn't escape without a reason. I mean, I'm, I'm sure most of them are behind Igor and not behind Oleg. So the only reason they support Oleg was because of Igor. And I'm, I'm really glad we're, we're rid of him now. I'm really glad about that. And I think uh, Igor is in good hands now and... <sighs> I mean, this is the last season, so it's really unlikely. But if we would have gotten more seasons, something I really would have wanted to see was that in the future, Ivor would return there. Also to see his child, to see Igor again, to have allies there. But honestly, I don't think that's possible in any way. It, I just don't think that's possible. But I mean, I can dream, right? <laughs> okay, and then I want to talk about uh, Gunhild. Oh, I have so much to talk about. Sorry if this is taking too long. Well, if it's taking too long, you can just leave. But I just I want to go through all the important stuff. Because I think this episode was another masterpiece, to be honest. I already couldn't imagine that they would just get married to him and be done with it. That's why first I thought uh, when they walked to Harold and they were smiling like that. I thought, okay, maybe uh, when you saw Ingrid and Gunhild talking in the previous episode, maybe they maybe they, they planned something, maybe they'll marry him and then they'll kill him or something like that. That was something I was hoping for because first I was like, oh damn, they're gonna share another husband now, come on. Um, but I also, also felt like they got a little closer even though they don't fully like, like each other. But they also don't hate each other anymore, if, if they ever did that. They just... I think they, they got some mutual respect right now. And I thought that was a possible thing that, that could have happened, that they planned something like that. Um, but then for Gunhild to say 
that she couldn't marry him because in her heart she was still married to Bjorn. I I seriously lost it. <laughs> I mean, that's so powerful of her. I'm not sure if it's like a really powerful thing to do to like kill yourself because you lost your husband. Um, but in her case, I mean, I, I'm not, not judging or anything. I mean, some people just die of grief or just don't want to live anymore because of grief. That's more what I mean. But it's not in my head like mostly like the, the common strong thing to do. That's more what I meant. It would have been stronger if she like fought for the throne, I think. I think that's a common thought. Like you killed yourself because your husband died, but you could have also fought for the throne. But I think she just saw that there was no way out anymore. That that Harold was gonna take it anyway and she didn't want to go through all of this and and have to marry him and she just she loved Bjorn so much so I think this was so powerful of her really powerful that's what I also was thinking um, we're slowly losing everyone but yeah it is the last season so I'm not sure what else to expect to be honest but um, yeah I, I gotta say we've seen five episodes I think the previous one was like or the third one not lesser episodes, but like the least of the five until now. Um, but I mean, still most of them, it's just a masterpiece until now. I just don't have another word for it. It's so good. And I'm just enjoying all the episodes and every episode just has a shocking thing or something like that, uh, or some really interesting things. And yeah. Oh, also one, one more thing. Um, I'm so glad we finally know that Katja is not Freitas. Because that was never really made clear. They were also always being a little secretive, secretive about it. And I already discussed it this like two episodes ago. That I was really wondering about that. And I, and I really hope that we were still going to find that out. And I'm really glad we did that now. Um, I mean, of course, it was the same actress. But in the TV show, she was apparently not supposed to be a reincarnation of Freitas. Or anything like that. I also think that maybe it was kind of... Um, us seeing it from Ivor's perspective, like that that we that he missed her so much that he just um, saw Freydis in Katja. I mean, she really did look like her, but I think that has something to do with it too. So I'm I'm glad that's explained now, and a lot of things are clear to me now, and I'm just super excited to continue watching. Um, so a bit of a longer review, but this episode, pff, holy shit! Let me know what you thought of it. Um, and like I said, if you already want to see more, check out my Patreon. I'm going to continue watching now. I'm so excited. And um, yeah, then that was my reaction to this episode. So did you like it? Please leave a like, subscribe. And I really hope to see you next time. Bye.